Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Thanks for my assistant. I'm gonna explain the problem to you, Adam, because you're dumb. Just kidding. That's All right. mean. What are you stepping on? Oh, okay. On. So, you know this. It means we have two n total people. So two n total. And we want to choose any old group of n plus one. So think of it as like this. Think of it as you got n boys, n girls. So two n total. I just want to figure out a group of n plus one. Doesn't matter if it's, let's say that n was like six. It could be two, three boys and four, three girls. I guess two boys and four. It doesn't really matter. It's just saying. That doesn't make any sense. Basically, n plus one people from two n's are the best. You don't on there. So this one's obvious. because this one you're having trouble with. So watch. There's two ways to do this on this side. Basically, you choose your k girls first. So we have k girls first, which means we want to choose n minus k boys, and this total will equal n people. But, remember, we don't want our total to be n. We want our total to be n plus 1. So add a 1 right there. Okay? We're adding an extra 1 boy chosen. Now our total will be n plus 1. So basically, when we choose the girls first, there's n girls, and we're choosing k of them. All right? And it doesn't matter. I mean, that's why it's k, because we can choose 0 girls and the rest boys. We can choose 1 girl and then n minus 1 boy and all that stuff. All right, so that's the first one, which is the first guy. Now, when we're choosing the boys, there's a total of n and there's n minus k plus 1 that we're choosing. And now this is where that symmetric thing comes in that you would never know unless you knew the symmetry. This and this are the same thing. This is actually equal to n choose k minus 1. You can try some numbers, plug in some stuff for n's and k's, and you'll see that the two equal each other. Um, symmetric idea, because it's n minus this, and another way to look at this would be n choose n minus k minus 1 which is the same as k minus 1. So now we have this times this, n choose k, turns n choose k minus 1. And the reason we're summing it from k equals 1 to n is because it's counting for all the different groups where you can have like one boy and then the rest n girls, or two boys and n minus 1 girls, and three boys and n minus, and that's all the different groups. And the first one we just considered n plus 1 total people. So hopefully that helps. If not, let me know more better. Bye.